At the tone, please record your message. Hey, Preacher Boys. Hi, this is Sarah Jackson. Hi, my name is Chrissy Johnson, and I am a listener and supporter of Preacher Boys Podcast. Hi, Eric. My name is Allison Logue. I was raised in the ISB in New York. Hi, this is Diana from DSW Ministry. Hi, Eric. This is Jerry Nassie calling. Hi, my name is Sydney, and I grew up in the Independent Fundamentalist Baptist Church. Hi, Preacher Boys Podcast. This is Tessa Garcia, and I want to say you are making a big difference being a voice to those who can't speak. Hi, this is Laurel, and I just wanted to say that I've appreciated the podcast because it has helped me to realize that I am not alone in the things that I grew up being told and things that were preached across the pulpit. And I appreciate everything you've done to expose the abuse that is so prevalent within the ISB movement. This just came at a very pivotal moment in my life to be able to share my truth for the first time and you made it so easy. Being able to be honest and open for the first time to that degree was made possible by you and your commitment to the show. In my darkest moments, I often wondered if anyone was out there that felt the same way or went through the same thing. And thanks to your work, I know now that I'm not alone, and I never was. I want to thank you for allowing survivors the opportunity and the platform to share their story and for helping them to get out those key points. And really, it's been a great way for everyone to kind of heal together. Um, I know for myself, it was the first time really publicly sharing my story and being heard and being able to share it with people on social media, which is something that 10 years ago I never imagined ever being able to uh, do. So I just want to thank you for everything that you're doing. Congratulations on your 100th episode milestone. Keep up the good work. We need more people like you in this fight. I know you've inspired so many, myself included. You'll continue to do so. Here's to 100 more. I'm often sitting in my room listening to these saying, yes, yes, thank you. Finally, someone's saying it. I do have to take breaks occasionally because I feel the weight of the episodes as a person who has been through abuse. But I always come back to it and I always feel like I glean something and I learn something or I understand somebody else's perspective and abuse that they went through. I didn't really know that other people had those same experiences in the independent fundamental Baptist movement that I had. And just knowing that I wasn't alone has been really incredible and really helpful in my healing in the last year. I am very much a skeptic uh, in everything, at every facet of my personality. I say all that to say this. Every story I've heard so far on the on the Preacher Boys podcast seems to, to be valid. And I say that because I've lived through that. I can relate to and I can understand where these folks are coming from. I understand what the pressure is like when you leave the ISB movement. I know what it feels like to be abandoned by the people you thought were your lifelong friends. And I, I do it again in, in an instant. It, it, it's so liberating. It's so worth it. So if anyone was listening, leave now. There's other people out there like you. Seek them out. Get help. Thank you for starting this podcast, and I don't feel like thank you is a big enough word. This podcast has been done in such a tasteful and safe way for some of us as victims and survivors, and it has become such a safe place for us to be able to share our story and get the word out about abuse in these churches. also wanted to give a beautiful shout out to Sarah Jackson, Rachel Peach, Hannah Kay, any survivor that has spoken out. Your stories reaches like even beyond ISB because I recommend so many of my friends who aren't even Christian to listen to the podcast. And we are all just so encouraged by y'all's testimony. God bless you all. You are so strong. You are beautiful. Thank you for trusting this podcast with your story because it will help someone. Like it helped me, help my mom, help my family, help my friends in some aspect or the other. Thank you for making this podcast again. I will be listening always. Hey everybody, welcome to episode 100 of the Preacher Boys podcast. I'm so thankful for the opportunity to be a part of this show, and I'm so thankful for the support that's been given by so many. I know all of you watching and listening have been such huge parts of making this show a reality. Uh, Preacher Boys podcast is something that, uh, you know, in many different forms I thought of doing over the last six or seven years. 
uh, thought about writing a feature film, thought about writing a book, thought about writing a horror film, thought about uh, doing all sorts of things. And, and then the documentary, which led to the podcast. And it's just been an amazing journey. And I couldn't have anticipated how far the show is going to go. Uh, 225,000 plus downloads across several countries uh, listened to by people of all different age groups, backgrounds. Uh, it's just been an incredible, incredible experience. And I'm so thankful for every single one of you. Uh, as we sit here at 100 episodes, I can't help but think that this is just the beginning. It's a cliche, but it's true. I really think that there's so much more ahead, so many stories to be told, uh, so many victims who need to be heard, uh, so many, uh, unfortunately, so many dark things that need to be exposed. Um, but I'm so excited to be on this journey with all of you, and I have no intent to slow down anytime soon. And uh, I just wanted to say it's it's ironic that this 100th episode uh, falls on the day it does, which is Thanksgiving Day. But I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much to so many of you who have just been there in incredible ways. Um, thank you to you know all of the people who've been guests on the show. I don't even want to name anybody because there's been so many, but literally well over a hundred people now who have shared their stories on the preacher boys podcast in some capacity, um, have contributed to blog articles, have, you know, uh, hundreds more sending emails, messages of support, uh, trying to be help and encouragement. As I do this, um, I want to say thank you to, uh, Travis Chapel, who helped guide me through the process of podcasting uh, and his incredible uh, just being able to watch him as a producer of his show for so many years and learn from his mistakes and his wins. Uh, he's been a huge encouragement. I want to say thank you uh, to, you know, all of the different survivors that have rallied around me and uh, have encouraged me and helped me, um, you know, for all the people who have been, uh, you know, behind the scenes. I mean, I think of people who have become really close friends. Um, I think of, um, you know, just so many of you that I just am in contact with week after week, uh, and are incredible people within the troubled teen industry, people within the independent Baptist, um, kind of church world, uh, even pastors there has been pastors who have gathered behind this and from a Christian perspective, endorsed, uh, the mission of preacher boys. And, I'm just so thankful to all of you. There are days it's very hard. It's a it's a heavy show. Many of you have noted that it's a heavy show. It's a heavy topic. And just like some of you feel like taking a break, sometimes I sit there and think about, you know, taking a break or, or stepping away um, to, you know, just gather myself. And I have to do that sometimes. But overall, like just hearing the messages like we heard at the beginning of the episode, um, it's well worth it uh, for people to be able to tell their story. Um, and I just want to lastly, just thank my wife. Um, I, I hope she's listening to this episode, but, um, Tara has been, uh, an incredible, uh, incredible partner through all of this. Um, she's heard me talk about something similar to preacher boys for the last six years. And, uh, she's the one that's constantly said, you got to do it, or you got to shut, shut up about it. You got to keep going and just, and just start it. And uh, she's been there. She's been through there through the difficult stuff that's come with the show. Uh, she's had to deal with, you know, me unpacking trauma of my own. She's had to deal with, you know, seeing the way that, you know, I'm talked about on social media by certain people. And she, you know, she's in my corner and has always been there as a support. And uh, I mean, she's the one, you know, watching our daughter when I'm sitting up here doing an interview with someone and, you know, keeping her entertained and, and quiet while I'm doing an interview with someone. And uh, I just couldn't do it without her. She's been the reason I've been able to keep going, been able to keep working through the show. And uh, I, I couldn't do this without her support. Um, as, as we, as I said, we're, I think we're just at the beginning and there's just a few things I just want to share. Uh, I still want to keep working on the documentary side. Um, I, I hate how much it's had to been uh, punted and, you know, punted again and again, but with COVID, with all of these different things, it's been very difficult. Um, and so as soon as possible, I want to keep that thing rolling. Uh, it will happen. It's just a matter of when. And uh, yeah, and then also, uh, this is the first time I've ever said anything about this, but I'm going to be uh, launching with the help of a few other people who I'll introduce uh, pretty soon. Uh, I'm launching a new organization out of Preacher Boys. Uh, it's going to be specifically focused on equipping churches, schools, camps, and other organizations with combating abuse. 
And so um, I, I will be kind of kicking that off, founding it, and then I have a team in place that's going to be working on that. It's been a lot of thought put into it, and we're developing something really incredible that's going to help churches make sure that uh, their church is what a church should be, which is the safest place for a family or a child to be. And so if you're interested in that, I want you to go ahead and go over to preacherboys.com slash fortify. And there's a way to sign up to be on the mailing list if you're interested in resources for a church organization or school. Uh, it's not coming from any particular religious bent. Um, it's going to be very practical and something that any church could use from a denomination and really any uh, organization could use. Um, but we wanted to make sure it's something that's accessible for everybody. So just head over to Preacher Boys Doc doc preacherboysdoc.com slash fortify get on the mailing list uh, and i cannot wait to share with you what we have going on over there uh, i'm so excited about preacher boys i'm so excited and thankful for everybody's been a part of this um, and i really hope that we continue to see incredible growth moving forward from me and my family and from the preacher boys podcast officially i want to say happy thanksgiving to all of you and i wish you a very safe a really um, happy and joyous holiday season. And uh, I love and appreciate every single one of you and consider you part of the Preacher Boys family. Thank you so much for all the support and I'll see you in the next episode of the Preacher Boys podcast.